we are exploring. Today we are at Toadsuck Ferry, Lock and Dam at Toadsuck, Arkansas, which is just a few miles west of Conway, Arkansas and Interstate 30. From 1820 until 1970 or the early 1970s, a ferry was in operation here to bring people across the Arkansas River. In the early 1970s, a bridge was constructed on top of the dam that carried traffic over the river. Here is a gigantic anchor that I do not believe is from a riverboat, but probably from a battleship. It looks like there's a plaque in front of it. I should have taken the time to read it, then I would know. Now let's have a closer look here. There's a little area with memorials. This is pretty nice. There are picnic facilities here in the park also and a trail. Toadsuck Ferry, Arkansas River Crossing, 1820 through 1970. Wow! There's a little path here that leads us to another marker about the Toadsuck towboat that we see in the background here. We're gonna have a closer look in a minute. Here is the story, but I'm gonna tell you during the video. Here on the right, this is where the towboat used to sit. But in May 2019, they had a flood here at the Arkansas River that lifted the towboat out and displaced it. This little towboat used to pull barges across the river going back and forth. It was equipped with a 1933 Ford V8 engine and that was enough power to propel it to carry loads, to tug loads from one side of the river to the other. Here's a little overview of the park and in the background you can see the bridge crossing the river. There's a river boat in the lock traveling downstream. It's actually leaving the lock. How this works you have the higher level water on the upriver side of the dam and the lower levels on the on the downstream side and these locks have gates on both sides and when the boat is inside both gates are closed and the water level is raised or lowered dependent on the direction of travel. Here on the left we can see some picnic areas. There the boat is leaving the lock and is released into the Arkansas River. Here on the left there are picnic areas with installed grills so you can have some fun in summer. These little picnic houses with picnic benches are very comfortable and provide shade. There's the bridge over there on top of the dam. Here we are on the other side at Toadsuck Park, which used to be an RV park that was damaged in the flood and they plan to reopen in February 2020. So now you'd like to know how Toadsuck got its name. On this side here in Perry County was a tavern where bargemen stopped and drank rum and moonshine and they sucked on their bottles until they swelled up like toads. There you go. Toad suck. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it.